Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be discussing how to prepare an internship report. And also I'll be giving a brief information about the exact meaning of internship. And also I'm going to show some model internship report so that you will be getting a good idea how to prepare an internship report in a neat manner. First of all, let us understand what is an internship and what are the importance of internship. You know, an internship is a short term work experience offered by companies and other organizations for people, especially students to get some entry level exposure to the particular industry or related field. And also the intern, those who are doing the internship, spend their time working on the relevant projects, then learning about the field, making industry connections and developing both hard and soft skills. So that is the main purpose of doing the internship. Nowadays, most of the universities is a part of a curriculum. Okay. So internship is a part of a particular syllabus also we can able to set. Then internship sometimes even lead to full time job offers and get paid during the time of internship. There are paid internship as well as uh, unpaid internship. Anyway, if you do internship, that is well and good. Definitely you will be getting a great exposure. In this session, I'm going to discuss about how to prepare an internship report. Suppose you have undergone one, one month internship program or two months internship program. How to write a report? Most of the people are having confusion. How to prepare the report? Okay, let us discuss the checklist on preparing the report. I'll be showing you the checklist. First of all, you have to concentrate on the front page. It includes the emblem of both the educational institution and the industry. Okay, it depends on the format. You have to follow the format as per the institution. Definitely don't forget to maintain the acknowledgement. And you have to thank those who involved to help you to complete the internship directly or ind indirectly. And if you mention the table of content, those who are reading the report, they will understand the whole distribution at a glance. And the executive, executive summaries very much essential for an internship report. What exactly you have done should be mentioned in the executive summary. Don't forget to mention the company profile and uh, mission, mission statement, mission and vision statements, then company logo and uh, year and date of establishment and what are the product and services. And you have to mention the weekly overview of internship. I'll be showing you the format so that you will understand. Okay. You have to mention the uh, weekly. For example, if you undergone one month internship, so you have to divide the whole month into four weeks. Next is description on assignment and project which you have carried out in the particular time of internship, particular duration of internship. And it should be precise and more technical content should be added. Product information and services have to be mentioned very clearly. What are the product and services, what you understood and with the help of case study, if you explain that is well and good. And do mention the flow chart. What are the process flow? Suppose if you are, if you are undergone an internship in a chocolate factory, what are the whole process flow? that you have to mention clearly and uh, the conclusion which you are complete after completion of the internship there are certain conclusion which you made that has to be mentioned clearly with the technical specification do mention the references suppose you might have referred some paper some textbook that also don't forget to mention then abbreviation some terminologies are new for us those who are reading the particular internship report they should know the meaning of the terminology so you have to mention the abbreviations Sometimes you might have used data sheets or product information. Do add the appendix in a brief. Whichever the important segment is that don't forget to add. Okay, these are the major uh, checklist whenever you are going to prepare an internship report. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you two internship report so that you will be having a better idea. Okay, according to that you can able to prepare uh, the, your internship report. If you are having any queries, do let me know. Let us go through a sample internship report. As I already told you that front page and acknowledgement, that format depends on the organization. Do follow according to that particular format. Later on, you have to mention the table of contents. If I go through the table of contents, suppose it includes certificate, then acknowledgement, uh, then a list of figures. How about the distribution of your internship report? If I, uh, let me scroll down. So how it has been divided? For example, introduction. Uh, it includes purpose of report and objectives, major objective of the in internship, then overview of the organization. It includes mission and vision, uh, then the company name and details. Company name is Selco, one of the solar based company and uh, technological overview services and products. Then weekly overview of internship is very much important. Suppose you might have done one month, 
do divide one month into four weeks. Access to energy services. Be better mention case studies. What are the things they have installed? They have worked out. Likewise, you can mention. Okay. Then analysis of the company products because that is very important. So that is then only you will be getting the industrial exposure. What are the product and services? How they are going to install? Then installation of solar system. Selco is basically a solar based company. So they are going to install solar street light, then solar cookers, then inverters, etc. So likewise, you will be getting different segments. Okay. De definitely the company, those who are doing the internship, definitely they would like to give their product. They would like to give their introduction about the product services, etc. They definitely they will explain in their nice manner. So you can go through these particular topics, how they are divided and collect the technical details as much as possible. Okay. Try to study what are the things they have carried out and uh, get to get uh, and improve the particular skills and the test and services carried out, how they are going to do the test for the after installation. And finally, discussion and conclusion. At the end, you might have referred, you, you might have referred some kind of article that can be added at the end. Okay, the, if I read, if I go through the table of content, definitely I should understand what are the major things you have included. So definitely it, uh, uh, it helps to identify the important topics, those who are reading first time. Okay. If I go through the table of contents, I'll be understanding how the distribution of different tables and how about the data distribution, how you are going to distribute the data. And the next one will be the list of figures. What are the major diagram which you have added? That is also very essential. For example, solar powered blacksmith blower. Definitely it uh, attract the readers to go through direct particular diagram. I'm going to refer figure number eight page number eight and i'll be identifying the diagram definitely it is one of the it will be one of the matter of fact okay so likewise solar charge controller definitely reader wanted to understand the basic structure of solar charge controller how about the block diagram definitely i can directly refer now likewise you can mention so executive summary what about the whole idea from the internship and the main intention do mention the introduction importance of conducting the internship then what are the major purpose of conducting the internship that you have to mention like the roman number put the roman number and refer and the major objectives that also mentioned very clearly later overview of the company selco one of the company that is namely selco you do mention the over when it has been established uh, what about the background of the company and uh, what are the area of area or major application and uh, major working area, domain, everything you have to mention. Vision and mission of the company, that is also very important. Okay. Next is organization. How about the structure of that particular company? Okay. And these things you can only make out. How about the services? Next is very, very important. Weekly overview of the internship activity. That is very essential. Okay. Every week what you have done, that you have to mention. Better you can go ahead with the format. Week day date name of the topic or module completed that you can mention very clearly okay open a particular table and you can divide it gives the precise information for example in this particular date what the student have done what the student has done servicing of solar lighting system and the replacement of battery at this particular area okay on this particular date what is the contribution or what work carried out by the student. You can able to go through that identify. Okay. So likewise, if you maintain for, suppose it's a one month internship, so you can divide into four weeks and a fourth separate table can be added. Definitely those who are reading first time, they will understand what the student has done exactly at the time of internship. Okay. Likewise, you can able to follow. So next is case studies. What about the previous installations? and uh, previous data we can able to refer. They might have stored in the computer, okay, or some hard copies are available. You can read and get the in uh, information. What about the previous work of the company? Okay, uh, likewise, you'll be getting a lot more information. It is one of the case study. Case studies are important, okay? Next is, what are the things they have done in the previous time, like, uh, Street light, one of the examples, installation of street light. Go through that, get the technical details. 
and this is the what type of lamp they have used okay what are the specification what about the lumen output what about the life span then for installation of street light pole height has to be mentioned how to decide the height get grab some uh, practical knowledge that is also very important uh, next what about the voltage specification then another problem statement like uh, black blacksmith blower okay so how to find out a solution for those who are working in the uh, especially blacksmith there are a lot of power issues how to overcome that particular thing what are the problem facing by the blacksmith and how to how the company helps to overcome that particular problem that also you have to mention in that uh, there are different modules so supply solar solar module is the main source and uh, storage unit as battery charge controller and uh, for blower definitely fan is required it is it will act as a motor load motor okay rl load so mention the specification speed backup hours of battery so if possible calculate the uh, particular backup time another issues are milking machine okay one of it definitely it will be one of the blessing for farm, farmers those who are uh, extracting the milk from cow so what about the machine specification identify try to get the information okay that you can do if you undergo a particular training in a set uh, companies like selco what about the capacity of battery how to design the battery size what are the major component of the device this kind of pictures that is also most attractive try to get the clear, clear picture okay and mention everything in a table get the more information okay then analysis of different products serving by selco okay that what are the major products how especially solar panel solar module or solar panel and you have to study how to calculate the sizing of panel because you are uh, doing the internship in a particular solar based company definitely calculation so calculations related to solar that is essential and uh, battery you are using a storage unit as a battery so definitely you need to know how to calculate the size of battery usually battery size will be expressed in terms of ampere hour right and uh, charge controller if battery is there definitely we should require charge controller how to decide the size of charge controller especially what do you mean by solar charge controller so different type of control units such as uh, switch cables and other segments how to install the solar system uh, how to install four lighting system okay and a basic block diagram of four, uh, four uh, light system connection try to understand this kind of thing it can be inculcated in your uh, particular at academics also academics whenever you are appearing for an interview you can able to show and can able to speak up suppose you are undergoing you are uh, applying for some post in certain solar company definitely you can uh, show your background work what are the things you are collected about the solar like this you can able to show the interest okay then uh, they have explained about hybrid inverter system so student has given the details about the hybrid solar inverter system the design of hybrid solar inverter system what is the meaning of normal type of inverter system and solar inverter system why it is called a hybrid so uh, this kind of inverter they have already installed you can get the technical details definitely if you undergo internship i am damn sure that you will be getting very good background work okay so likewise you can able to uh, mention and also whenever you are going to install solar plant definitely this kind of array junction box that's also very important what are the major protective devices like pv fuses surge protection devices how to install surge arrester in a solar plant those things also you should understand what is the importance of spd junction box what is the difference between spd junction box with the other type of array junction box so you can able to bifurcate whenever you are appearing for an interview or if you wanted to continue in the same institution uh, that will really help you out then installation of water heating system so you have to mention all the technical details okay what about the volume of storage tank okay then how many number of uh, tubes required what about the length of the tube thickness everything what type of material you have employed it is one of the solar thermal application and uh, how it look like and the solar water heater capacity you have to mention and what are the major digital services they are going to employ like uh, some rural places there won't be any power from the grid or power from the na national grid at that time you can use the solar panel like a solar printer you can able to see solar printer a chopper and charge controller it is really interesting okay and also test and services carried out by the solar lighting system then product testing procedure suppose one city has been installed what are the major uh, procedure which they are going to carry out standard testing some students they will get a job opportunity in the field of testing at that time what are the things they have to follow 
finally there is a brief discussion has to be mentioned discussion need to be mentioned very clearly it should be precise and the conclusion with the technical specification and uh, what is the purpose of internship what you have learned from the internship and uh, how it will help in future those things you have to mention very clearly and uh, better mention references especially some textbook is this kind of textbook like uh, chetan singh solanki those textbooks are really helpful for those who are preparing or those who are working in the field of uh, solar installation and also if there are some abbreviations or any any kind of uh, appendix any kind of data sheet that is also can be added here so likewise you can able to prepare the internship in a neat manner so this is one example of may, uh, may, uh, pre how to prepare an internship report in the upcoming session i am going to discuss about how to apply for internship okay and uh, what are the major companies who uh, th those who are providing the internship okay if you are having any clarification please put up in the comment box definitely i will do that i hope uh, these contents will be really helpful this checklist this checklist will really helpful for preparing the detailed internship report thank you very much for watching this video